Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another weekend update video. I thought this weekend we'd take a look at the overall market, take a look at the S&P 500 or SPY, and kind of give my predictions and my technical analysis to see where I think the market is going to go this coming week. We are getting closer and closer to the election, so a lot of big news catalysts coming up. We still have not had a stimulus bill passed, but we have a lot of rumors that keep swirling every single day. But let's just take a look from the technical standpoint, looking at the charting here to see where I think we're going to be going with the market, or at least with the S&P 500 this coming trading week. So let's get right into it. Let's just take a look at these daily candles here. So this is the TradingView chart. I always get a lot of questions as far as what website this is. This is TradingView.com. It's completely free. It's a very nice and powerful website that you can use to do some charting and look at tickers. Also has a lot of fundamentals in terms of, you know, incomes and earnings and volume and such like that if you're into the numbers. But let's just get right into it. So I've already done, as you can see, technical analysis on the S&P 500 on SPY in a lot of my previous videos. So if you haven't seen that, you can watch me do this TA basically from scratch if you look at my YouTube channel page and find those videos. But right now, you can see initially I had a long upward trend line here, also a parallel channel. Back in about early September, you know, we had a little bit of a market sell off the month of September. So you can see we broke through and down out of that parallel channel and also down and out of that trend line. Looks like recently, towards the end of September, up until about mid October, we've kind of reversed direction because we were kind of down into the right, but it looks like now we've kind of reversed direction, maybe something a little bit like this. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could draw this trend line to the bottoms of these candles here, something along the lines of this. So we kind of reversed directions. We're in a short term bullish uptrend, but what's concerning again now is ever since about October 16th, 19th and this past trading week, we've kind of again seems to have broken that upward downtrend. So is this going to be another little bit of a correction like we had back in September? It's looking like that way right now. However, it is a little bit of a mixed picture in my opinion. And I say that because so first of all, these yellow lines represent areas of support and resistance that I've identified going back quite some time. This pink line represents the 50 day moving average. This orange line represents the 21 day moving average. So the one nice thing or the one kind of bullish sentiment right now is because we are still trading above both the 50 day and the 21 day moving averages. You can actually see the intraday low on October 22nd touched and bounced right off that 21 day moving average. The other nice thing was yesterday, the intraday low bounced right off my area of support at about 342 and some change. So that tells me that this is looks like it's going to hold up. And actually, if you take a look at the past basically trading week, this wick here, this candle here, this candle here for the past four trading days and pretty much this candle here and even this wick here. So for about four to five days of trading, we've held support at about 342 and some change. And you can that tells me that 342 is going to be a strong area of support right now. It will take a lot to break below 342. Even going back to early September, you can see a bunch of wicks topped out. It was resistance back in September. We broke above it and now it's acting as support. So personally, if you wanted to trade options on it, let's say run the wheel on SPY or sell cash secured puts, I would want to get into ideally I would pick a strike less than $340 because it's below this area of support, but also below or pretty much at the 21 and 50 day moving averages, which are going to also act as support if 342 breaks. So that's what I would do if I wanted to wheel spy. I personally don't really like wheeling spy because one spy is very expensive at over $340 per share right now. And also the premiums on spy, are just not very juicy. The reason they're not juicy is because SPY is not as risky as some standalone stocks. You know, other tickers like Nikola or Neo, they're going to be much more juicy. Space, Virgin Galactic, they're going to be much more juicy, much higher returns on risk because they are much riskier plays. So 
it all depends on your trading style. If you want to be a more aggressive trader or a more conservative trader, it depends. It's going to impact which tickers you decide to play options on or just buy and sell shares and swing trade if you want. But if you want to be a boomer and just buy and hold shares of stock or ETFs, the question that you're going to be asking is, is this now a good time to invest in the, the S&P 500? And I don't think it is because I think personally, I think we are going to have an overall market correction or dare I say a depression coming up in the future in the next coming months or so. So I think you could buy into SPY at a much cheaper price. I mean, just not even a month ago, SPY was all the way down to the 320s. So right now we're in the 340s. In fact, we closed at 345 end of day Friday. So I think there still is some room to drop. If I zoom out here, you can see the highs, the all time highs before the illness happened, basically, or at least before the illness impacted the market, SPY was at about 338. So we are higher than we were before this whole illness happened and the economy happened and you know the stock market crashed and revived itself. But this valuation right now in SPY and honestly across the market does not make much sense to me because this would make you think that our economy right now is stronger than it was before the illness happened, which I just don't think is true. So that's my personal opinion, not financial advice. But I think if you did want to go long, meaning buy and hold shares for years or decades, I think if you wait, you could get into a better price. But as far as options trading, you know, that's what I like to do. I think, like I said, getting into a cash grid put and what I mean by that is selling a cash grid put below 340 would relatively be a safe bet depending on your time frame. Now I'm talking more shorter time frame, so weeklies or two or three weeks out. But if you were looking into longer time frames, like maybe one month or, or more, then I would want to lower my strike point as well, just to give me more flexibility between the strike price and the current share price to make sure that you don't get assigned shares if that's your goal. Now, the other thing is really, where are we going to trade in the next coming trading days in the short term? My opinion, I think we're going to trade between 342 and about 348. It looks like around 348-ish, maybe 349, somewhere in that vicinity, we kind of topped out. You can see this wick here topped out just shy of 349. In fact, I might move this trend line up close to 349, something like this, because then it tops out at this candle, this wick, and this wick, and then the bottoms of these wicks. I think this is gonna be a more accurate number and also the bottoms of these candles. So I think something like 349. So I think right now, SPY is gonna trade at a few bucks of a trading range between about 342 and 349 so about a seven dollar wide range which actually is quite a bit for spy because as you can see spy is not very volatile it moves you know one percent or less every day usually but that's my opinion right now so i think short term we're going to be flat on spy it looks like we're a little flat for the past trading week i think the only thing that can move spy a lot right now is negative sentiment from the election or just uncertainty from the election that could certainly cause spy to come down the thing that could move spy upward would be positive sentiment and i really think that the only positive thing that could happen in the market right now is either a vaccine coming out that's fda approved and safe and that everyone is willing to take which i don't think is going to happen in the short term or the stimulus bill passing which that could happen in the short term but i'm not holding my breath that's really the only thing that would make me bullish on SPY to go above 350, basically. Without a stimulus, I think we're just going to trade flat or just slowly dip down over time because there's too much uncertainty right now, in my opinion. But that's my kind of 10 minute trade analysis on SPY and where I think we're going to go. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, always leave them below. If you're not in our Discord server, make sure you get in there. And as always, happy trading.